Hi, I'm Robert Jacobson. I'm a physician here at Mayo Clinic and I'm head of our medical director of the Employee Community Health Immunization Program as well as the Southeast Minnesota Region Immunization Program. I'm here to talk about National Immunization Awareness Month. Let's talk about the HPV vaccine, the human papilloma virus vaccine. Here's a vaccine that parents often feel hesitant about. First of all, because it seems in their mind, children don't get HPV infections, so why should they be vaccinating against it? Seems like an adult concern. But here's the problem. Unfortunately, in our country, um, most of us, by the time we're 50 years of age, will have been infected at least once with HPV. The rates are startling. Uh, in fact, uh, most of us deal with the infection and clear it in a year or two. Now, we may have passed it on to someone during that year or two, but we didn't feel sick, nor were we diagnosed with the infection. Overwhelmingly, most HPV infections are never going to be diagnosed. But they are transmitted and a small percent, maybe even less than 1% of us continue to be infected and that infection stimulates cancer. And it can cause cancer of the cervix or other genital regions or it can cause cancer of the, uh, of the mouth and throat. And in fact, in the U.S., 33,000 cancers are diagnosed every year due to HPV infection. And we now have an effective vaccine against those infections, but we got to give it to the children as three doses, and we got to give it to them long before they're exposed. Now we know uh, from studies we've done here at the Mayo Clinic Children's Center that 40% of our college-bound children are already infected with the HPV uh, virus. That means that we've got to get those three doses in long before they're being exposed. Uh, we aim at Mayo Clinic to vaccinate at 9 and 10 years of age with the first dose to complete the series on time. We want to get in all three doses early, not just because it'd be long before exposure, but actually studies have long shown that our 9, 10, and 11, 12-year-olders respond much better to the vaccine than even our 16, 17, and 18-year-olders, and that group responds far better than our 24, 25, and 26-year-olders. Yes, if you want a great response against HPV uh, vac uh, infection, you want to get it as young as possible. And that's why we do the series starting at 9 and 10 years of age here at Mayo Clinic. 